Hey guys, it's Silver and today I have a fun video for you all and it's about the brand new Bandai 8th gen Scale World figures. So <laughs> clearly this is this is not 3rd gen. Uh, I'm sure everybody including myself was thinking, okay, they're going to make 3rd gen next. But no, here we are. We're jumping many generations all the way up to 8. And we have a set of 14 figures and then Rillaboom who is sold separately. But yeah, we're going to be flipping through some pictures and looking at all the figures. I'll give my thoughts. And then at the end, I will have places where you can pre-order and stuff like that. So just sit back and I will give you all the information you so desire. First of all, here's our, our main picture. And I really like all the, the choices we have here. I love Toxel. And it's fun to see Wooloo, of course. And then I'll Creamy and Yamper, I feel like we're given. But look at look at how tall Inteleon is. I love Inteleon so much. But there's our first image. So here is the glorious set. And look at how tiny, how tiny Cinderace is. I knew it was a little bit on the small side, but he's <laughs> just a just a small bunny boy. But we have the wacky grooky. Raboot, Score Bunny, Toxel, Sobble, Drizzle, Yamper, Wooloo, Alcremi, Inteleon, Rilla, Rilla Ace? No. <laughs> Cinderace. How did I mix those two up? And then Gloria. I'm pretty glad they they chose Gloria. Uh, as usual, the female trainer is usually a bit more interesting than the male one. That's just seemingly like the way it is. I think Gloria is quite cute. Victor's a little bit plain, but I really enjoy this set, and I will definitely be purchasing this. Mostly for Inteleon, because Inteleon is just so cool. Pokemon grew on me a lot. I, I think Inteleon's one of my favorite 8th gen Pokemon. As well as, like, Toxel and Wooloo, like I said. So this is a pretty solid set. And let's see some more pictures. Here's Gloria with the starters. Adorable. Her, her detail, her outfit here actually looks really nice. Normally, some of the Scale World trainers look a little bit jank, but, but Gloria looks, like, perfectly fine. <laughs> Maybe they finally mastered how to get the human trainers correct, but even, like, the shoelaces and the, the, the socks? Gloria looks great. Then we have Grookey and Thwacky. Not a real big fan of Thwacky, to be perfectly honest, but I do enjoy Grookey. And we have Score Bunny, everybody's favorite emo rabbit, Raboot, and then Toxel, who looks adorable. And we have Sobble and Drizzle. I actually don't particularly care for Drizzle that much either. I definitely prefer Raboot, even though I like Sobble's line the best. But still, even for being a Pokemon I don't particularly care for, it looks it looks decent enough. We have Yamper, Wooloo, and Alcremie. Alcremie's so tiny! It's a little little tiny sweet. And Wooloo is is fairly large, which I expected. Cute little heart nose. Then Yamper, of course. We have my boy Inteleon with that that pro finger gun. <laughs> this is just such a cool Pokemon. I think Inteleon is like six feet tall or something like that, which is why this figure is so big. But just just big fan of this. We have Cinderace, very cute, little little soccer rabbit friend. We have Gloria again. And we have a shot with the Grookey line. So Rillaboom is separate. And as, as well as being separate, it's also Bandai Premium exclusive, which is interesting. Uh, this is like the first starter that they've made completely exclusive for some reason. I don't, I don't know if people... Do they not expect people to buy Rillaboom? Or I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> why they're making it exclusive, but you'll have to... Go out of your way if you want to pre-order or pick up this guy. But there is that line. And let's go over to the official Bandai page now. So you can see it's priced at 3,850 yen. So about almost 40 USD. And we just have our, our lines over here. 
So all of these will come packaged in, in little boxes like in all of the previous Scale World figures I've reviewed on the channel, which there'll be a playlist if you're interested in that. Yeah, this is this is just uh stuff we've already we've already seen. But it comes with seven pieces of gum. Aw yeah. <laughs> main reason to buy this but I think I think this is a pretty good price just just 40 bucks for all these figures I think is fantastic and let's move over to Rilla Boom, who is 3,960 yen so they're kind of similar just just a hundred yen difference about and so that's a, around again around $40 I expect Rillaboom to be about as big as for Alligator. Little, his little drumsticks. Without the drum. And here's the, the picture of the lineup again. But yeah, it, it's interesting that Rillaboom is, is exclusive. I'm not quite sure why that is. But if you're a big Rillaboom fan, that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> I will leave a link to where you can pre-order this. This guy, as with everything else in the description, but yeah, just just very strange. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention that this will be released in September 2020, so that's that's Rillaboom, and then the Glorious set is also September 2020. You guys will have to tell me though, what do you think of them jumping all the way to 8th gen? Are you interested in buying any of these figures? Are you going to go out and buy Rillaboom, even though it's premium exclusive? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this. But yeah, I will have pre-orders to everything in the description if you're interested. Here is, for example, Ami Ami, which is one of my favorite places to shop for stuff like this. As well as Hobby Link Japan will also be linked down there. As well as Big in Japan, which is a big seller of Bandai exclusive stuff. So if you want to come over and pre-order Rillaboom, which I recommend doing quickly if you are very interested. Because these figures sell out very quickly and then they are resold for incredible prices. So you don't want to uh, sit this out if you are interested in Rillaboom. I will also have a write-up of everything I talked about here in one place on my merch news website, Pokepolitan, as well as a bunch of other new merch news. So you can see we have a bunch of new Sané plushies, including the very first Snom plush. Oh, this is a, a beautiful moment in time. I'm very excited for this. I am absolutely buying this. In fact, as we speak, I have pre-ordered it. So, <laughs> As well as Toxitricity in, in Galar Corsola. Toxitricity is one of my favorite... 8th gen Pokemon as well. But I also have a bunch of new Tomy figures, the G-Max promo, uh, the new Coco movie stuff. So yeah, come over and check this out if you're interested. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. If you haven't followed me on Twitch already, you should do it. I have a lot of fun over there. Currently we're streaming Pokemon Coliseum. We're going to be doing Raid Night for G-Max Meowth. We have a lot of fun over there. But that'll do it for me. Thank you all again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.